In this video, I will share with you my two cents on psychedelics because this is a very important topic for me to talk about. I was raised to believe that psychedelics are horrible drugs and that they are gonna make you addicted, they are gonna make you go insane, they are gonna kill you. And then I stumbled upon a video of a guy talking about LSD and he made claims like LSD is not addictive and it's not gonna kill you. And I thought it was some insane drug addict making justifications for taking drugs. And I just kept believing that these drugs are bad. But then I stumbled upon another video from another guy and then another video from another guy who was a scientist, which to me back then was a big authority and it got me confused. Like, is he really a drug addict or is there perhaps some potential to these substances? So then I started doing my research into psychedelics, not because I would ever take them because I am against drugs, but because there might be some truth to what they are saying. And if that is the case, then why are these substances so demonized? And looking more into it, I learned that these substances like LSD and magic mushrooms are not physically dangerous at all and they are not addictive and they actually can have some very important benefits. By the way, before I start talking about the benefits, I want to make it clear that some people should not take psychedelics for sure. People who have schizophrenia in their family or who suffer from psychosis or if you suffered from some extreme trauma, like if you were kidnapped, then psychedelics might be too harsh for you and it would be better for you to start with meditation. But I feel like for the vast majority of people, psychedelics can be super helpful. Unfortunately, we do not have that many studies on psychedelics because the studies were made illegal or hardly suppressed but we still do have a reasonable amount of them and these studies almost always show very positive effects of psychedelics on your mental health and well-being on treating depression and anxiety many of these psychedelics can also be extremely powerful for curing addictions in fact they seem to be the single most powerful cure to addictions that we know of the guy who invented anonymous alcoholics the group that makes you go sober he claims that lsd was the single most important reason why he quit drinking alcohol and he included lsd in the treatment of anonymous alcoholics and it was very powerful until they banned it and if you studied in depth about the history of 60s in america you will know exactly what the reason is they made psychedelics illegal not because it was dangerous for the kids but because hippies were taking psychedelics and hippies were also anti-war so america needed to get rid of hippies and by banning psychedelics and making them illegal they could largely decrease the power of hippies obviously you cannot expect the majority of americans in the 60s to understand that most people basically thought that psychedelics and marijuana were banned because they are dangerous and the stigma has been around for so long and it is so bad that i now fear that this video will get deleted by youtube and i cannot even talk about psychedelics with my family because they will think that i am becoming a drug addict and not only that but the fact that they are illegal also makes them more potentially harmful you for example cannot buy lsd from a verified company therefore there are two ways to get it Number one is to buy a research chemical that is structure-wise similar to LSD and you are not sure if it has the same effects and if it's safe as well. And number two is to buy it on the street but you don't know if it's LSD or N-bomb which can actually be lethal. It would make sense to ban these substances if they were actually unsafe but it was never proven that substances like LSD or magic mushrooms would have any bad effect whatsoever on your body. With that said, they could be dangerous psychologically if you take them in a bad environment and you take bad dosages. If you are gonna take psychedelics, you definitely wanna be smart about it and you want to educate yourself as much as possible. But then people over focus on these bad effects and they completely disregard all the positive effects. Even if there was a chance of going insane because of psychedelics, then maybe it would still be worth it if it helped you cure your heroin addiction or alcohol addiction. Because the legal drugs like alcohol and cigarettes actually are incredibly damaging and we know it. And yet there is no stigma around getting wasted for whatever reason. So if psychedelics should stay illegal, then so should alcohol and so should cigarettes. And I actually am a person who is very anti-drugs. I am anti-alcohol, I am anti-cigarettes, I am anti 
prescription drugs. I am anti-dietary supplements like calcium carbonate. I would never take that, I find it extremely dangerous. But the real danger when it comes to psychedelics is that they will open your mind and cause you to question everything. That can be very unpleasant and it might interfere with your survival. Because maybe you work as a marketer for Donald Trump and taking psychedelics makes you realize that you are helping the devil. So then psychedelics might cause you to leave your job and replace it with a different one, which will make you make less money, which will interfere with your survival. And that is the real danger of psychedelics. And that is why they have been so demonized because people do not like to question their beliefs and assumptions. People would like to stay the same forever and psychedelics will make you become different, which can be incredibly challenging, especially for conservative people. But it can also be very good for the planet. In fact, change is what we need. If we do not change as society, we will quickly die out. For example, nuclear threats are a real problem, so is global warming. And I sincerely believe that these things are reversible, but people have to first become more conscious. And once we become more conscious, the government will inevitably become more conscious as well, and they will make changes that will allow for the planet to survive and to thrive. I am convinced that psychedelics can help us get there. I hate it when people judge psychedelics when they don't have direct experience with them. Because how can you be so sure that something is so bad for you if you A never tried it and B you have no proof, no evidence. And yes there are dangers to psychedelics, don't get me wrong. But does that mean we should neglect them? No. There are dangers to exercising. So is it bad to exercise? Or should we fear getting vaccinated when one child has a negative effect per every 1000 children that benefit from the vaccination? I don't think so. I think exercising can be super healthy, so can be getting vaccinated in most cases, and so can be psychedelics. Although when I say this about exercising, it is way less controversial than when I say this about LSD. And if I made a video about the benefits of exercising, everybody would agree. And if I make a video about psychedelics, I'm sure there will be so much hate. Despite the fact that the data is almost as strong. We don't have that many studies about psychedelics just yet, but the studies that we already do have are very consistent. But I understand if you are one of these people who are gonna give me hate. Because it is totally acceptable. I completely understand that it can be very hard for a conservative person to change his mind. It is completely normal, but I sincerely believe that you are capable of opening your mind to these substances. I am not forcing you to take them, I'm just asking you to stop judging them because it can have very bad consequences. If you, for example, take your kids that they should not take LSD, first off, you are not helping anything because they are gonna do it anyway, but then they will probably have a worse experience than if you didn't scare them out. There are trips that end up badly, but most of the time it is because the people who take psychedelics are afraid of the substance. Why are they afraid? Because of conditioning. Or because they don't know what they are taking because psychedelics are illegal. It is a matter of time since psychedelics will become legal. They definitely will in the future because people are becoming more and more open-minded and more and more liberal whether you like it or not. But I just feel like we don't have that much time because again climate change is happening and nuclear war is a threat and these things will destroy the planet if people don't become more conscious fast enough. And psychedelics, I sincerely believe, are the number one tool for a person to become more conscious. So just like I used to be passionate about nutrition, I am now extremely passionate about psychedelics. And I will be moving this channel towards this direction because people do not need to lose weight. People need to become more conscious. And I repeat, I do not force you to take anything. But if you suffer from anxiety or depression or certain addiction, psychedelics can be a great great tool and you might as well just take advantage of them if you don't like it for whatever reason you can always go back to living your regular life i love you thank you so much for listening share this video if you enjoyed it